Ella swirled a few ingredients into a vial, popped a cork on it, and began shaking vigorously. She leaned in close to the princess, who was breathing heavily through her nose. Princess Alindra, this is Tempest and Ella. I need you to listen carefully to what we're about to do. The princess quickly nodded. I've diluted some of my acid the best I can, but it should still be effective enough to eat through what you're covered in. Now, I'm going to pour this into your eyes and across your mouth so you can see and breathe. I'm not going to lie. This is going to hurt. But once you can open them, I'm going to wash the area with a counter reagent, which will remove the acid, and Tempest is here for any healing, okay? The princess quickly nodded again. Ella grabbed the back of her head and poured the vial all over her face. The acid sizzled as it made its way through the adhesive that was restricting her mouth and eyes. Okay, okay, the princess said hurriedly as she waved her tightened hands at her face. Ella followed up with the counter reagent and Tempest healed any burn across her face. The princess coughed and looked down at her arms and legs. Ella extended her a cloth that she used to wipe across her eyes. Tempest lent his water skin to the princess, who downed the remaining contents before coughing up. <coughs> Thanks, she said, handing it back to him. She looked up and around the room and jerked her head toward Tempest and Ella. Did you kill it? Kill what? Tempest asked. Princess Alindra's eyes darted around the room, scanning for anything. There's something in the room. It attacked me and my wardens as soon as we entered. Tempest and Ella immediately took defensive positions in front of the princess as they scanned the room. Meanwhile, Raiko was currently observing the floating bottle of alchemist fire. She moved her torch around it to see if anything was holding it. She scratched the top of her head, trying to figure out the puzzle. When Tempest and Ella turned around, it was the same moment that Raiko reached out to touch it. Tempest and Ella watched in horror as Rika was pulled up and into the ceiling. Her arms and legs were suspended like strands were tied around each of her extremities. Just then, Tempest was knocked to the ground as he was pulled by his feet and suspended upward into the ceiling. Ella frantically searched through her satchel, looking for the bottle. Princess, are you innate or divine? Ella shouted. What? The princess pulled her arms close to her chest and pressed her body against the wall. Are you innate or divine? Innate, she shouted. As soon as Ella found the yellow bottle, she too was pulled from behind. The bottle rolled toward Princess Alindra's feet as Ella shouted, Drink the bottle and help us!